Yes, I'd like to about a topic about a new scientific finding. Uh, people have found gravitational waves that are, were supposedly from the beginning of the universe. And there was a guy who was weeping with me. You see, we have found evidence for the Big Bang. And this proves that your Bible is wrong. Well, sorry folks, no, it doesn't. You see, the Big Bang theory assumes that a quantum fluctuation in space-time led to an explosion of all kinds of matter, etc. Well, that has not been proven yet, or and never will, most probably. And if so, okay. Um, on the other hand, <laughs> if you read the Bible, you see that the Bible uh, uh, testifies that in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And um, next to that is that God is expanding the universe. He stretched out the heaven with his hands. That's what the Bible says in some other place in the Bible. I don't know where exactly, but I have to find out. So, does this finding contradict the Bible? Uh, no, it doesn't. It only approves the Bible correct. They found gravitational waves uh, from the supposed beginning of the universe. And actually, it proves the Bible in that uh, it, 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 it under, uh, underlines, uh, 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 strengthens the faith in the Bible. Because it shows, if this is uh, a true finding, it shows that gravitation was one of the earliest things that has uh, been created by God. And one of the key uh, features of gravitation is that it delays time. Everywhere where there's a lot of mass, like an Earth, like a Sun, like a big star, or like a galaxy, etc., the time is slowed down. Yeah? And the finding of these gravitational waves proves that gravitational was active if this is a true finding, as the scientists claim, that gravitation is, uh, was active from the very beginning on. That means that time dil dilatation by gravity was also uh, active from the very moment gravitation was uh, active. And um, so, and then you go back to the theory of uh, Russell Humphreys again, where time dilatation uh, makes it possible, the Einstein gravita uh, time dilatation by gravity makes it possible that six days on Earth, which is uh, uh, close to the center of the universe, I don't say it's in the center, but at least close to the center of the universe, um, is the six days of creation are possible uh, because of the time dilatation at the edges of the universe where time travels much faster because there's less mat 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 uh, material stuff, so less mass. And if there's a lesser amount of mass, then the time dilatation is uh, 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 less. So the time, time goes quicker. It, it spin, the clock is spinning uh, harder around. If I have a clock here on Earth in those days, uh, it's spinning like we used to. Uh, tick, tick for one second, but in, in, at the edges of the universe, it's, 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 it's dri driving like crazy from our scene, from our position. If I would be on the edge of the universe and I was looking back to a clock on Earth, then I should, I, I could say it's virtually not moving. Um, so does this prove that the Bible is wrong? No, in the contrary. It proves only that time dilatation was there already from the very beginning, if this finding is a finding from the very early uh, beginnings of the universe. And um, so it, we, we, it, this is not a proof against the Bible, in the contrast. Um, uh, yeah, in, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So in the beginning, time, uh, the heaven created God, the heaven, space, and the earth, matter. 
So um, that means that that that, that uh, gravitation was active from the very beginning. If this finding is a true uh, uh, finding of gravitational waves. So that, that's what I wanted to share, and there's no reason for panic uh, amongst the Christians because, well, okay, it just confirms. Okay, thanks. Thank you, scientists, for confirming the Bible. Again. 